weather affects few people more than firefighters. CBS 410's Ashley Claster is live in studio to show us how much hotter it is for them under all that equipment. If you ever see a fire on a hot day like this and it seems like there's a lot of firefighters, that's because they're taking precautions to avoid heat related injuries. They work in quick shifts to battle the flames and stay hydrated. Very dangerous and we dehydrate very quickly. Fighting fires is a risky job on its own. Add triple digit temperatures and a desert sun, it could be deadly. Uh, you, you feel uh, your energy start to drain very rapidly. Um, the good thing is, is that uh, we have systems in place within our, our policies of the fire department. Captain Danny Medrano says El Paso firefighters rotate every 10 to 15 minutes to avoid heat stress. For example, a traffic accident, um, the asphalt can get up to about 140 degrees when it's about 90 degrees ambient air temperature. Uh, your average house fire interior runs anywhere from about a 700, 800 degrees Fahrenheit to anywhere about 13, 1400 degrees, depends how involved the house is. This is the gear that El Paso firefighters wear to house fires and car fires. Just the gear alone weighs 60 to 65 pounds. You start adding tools, uh, dragging hose, uh, whatever else we may need, uh, we get upwards of 100, 120 pounds sometimes we're working in. And that's before rescue attempts, climbing ladders, and the flames. Plus, the gear isn't breathable. Um, it's a three layer gear, and one of those layers is a vapor layer um, so that we don't get steam burns. So, therefore, when we sweat, that doesn't evaporate out into the air. I stayed in the gear for exactly five minutes and was already sweating indoors. In those conditions, we teach them um, how much are you sweating. Once we stop sweating, that becomes a sign of uh, heat exhaustion, which could lead into heat stroke. Medrano tells me the firefighters work out every single day, but on triple digit days like today, they tone down the physical activity so they aren't dehydrated before they have to go to a real incident. Reporting live, Ashley Claster, CBS 4 at 10.